Right now, we're following up on two crashes involving pre-K for SA buses in the span of two weeks. The program was audited. The city wants to know how drivers are screened and certified. In early April, a pre-K 4SA bus hydroplaned along 410 in McCullough, taking students to swim lessons. No kids were injured. And just last week, police say a speeding driver crashed into a pre-K SA bus. No children were inside. Police don't believe the bus driver was at fault. It all comes as a new audit found that pre-K 4SA was not doing enough to ensure drivers were meeting qualifications. Fox SA's Jordan Elder breaks down the failures of the city-run program and what's next. When you put your child on a school bus, you're putting a lot of trust in the person behind the wheel. You're transporting the most precious cargo. But a new city audit found that pre-K for SA didn't have adequate measures in place to make sure bus drivers met qualifications. In the sample of 15 bus drivers officials looked at, they got a spreadsheet saying background checks had been passed, but they couldn't get access to the checks themselves. Officials also found that one substitute bus driver did not have a valid commercial driver's license on file. Attorney Tim Maloney outlines why those are important. The purpose of a commercial driver's license is to establish the credentials and training of the individual driving that vehicle. Uh, I cannot imagine a more important job that requires a CDL than driving school children around uh, in the mornings and in the afternoons. Auditors write, quote, pre-K for SA students' safety may be put at risk if unqualified bus drivers are engaged. Councilwoman Phyllis Villagran chairs the audit committee and says this investigation brought up valid points. I think we need to see and make sure that our kids are being transported correctly and carefully. The good news is Pre-K for SA has accepted all of the auditor's recommendations. They'll now use the city's HR department to screen their drivers and track their qualifications. What are the benefits of partnering with the city's HR department to do that? Our HR department does a really good job of vetting uh, and it can take a while, so I think that that's going to be a plus for them. Councilwoman Villagran says the issue of school bus safety is something she plans to elevate to state lawmakers, especially after the wrecks here in Bear County and the tragic crash up in Hayes ISD. She says this is something the public is calling for. Reporting at City Hall, I'm Jordan Elder.